So, you guys seem to really like that dark mode video that we made. And we ourselves enjoyed making that too, because we ourselves love dark mode. But really, did you think that was it? Did you think we were done? I don't think so. So, in the last video, we taught you guys how to go dark on your smartphones, whether you're on iOS or Android. Now, let's take things a step further by bringing your computers to the dark side, whether you're on Mac or PC. If you mostly use your computer for school, work, or just productivity in general, then one of, if not your most used app, is your internet browser. Whether you're using Chrome, Firefox, Opera, or Edge, they now all have dark theme options. Just be sure that you're updated to the latest version. Now, the downside of these browsers' dark mode options is that they're only limited to the overall look of the app, such as the toolbar and bookmarks tab. So you can't really apply dark mode to the actual web pages. So your solution here is to download an extension like Dark Reader, which by the way is compatible with Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. It gives you the freedom to invert the look so the web page background turns black and text turns white. You can even tweak the brightness, contrast, and sepia effect. Another extension you can use for Chrome is one called Stylish. It shows your available themes for specific web pages. It's not perfect, but it doesn't bug out as much as Dark Reader. And just as you can do with your smartphone apps, you can take advantage of specific websites that have their own native dark mode options. These include Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, and yes, of course, don't forget Pornhub. Gmail has a dark theme, though it doesn't cover everything. When you open messages, they still come out as white. But then again, that's why we have the browser extensions. And lastly, for both PC and Mac, Certain desktop apps like Skype, Telegram, Discord, Steam, and others also have built-in dark modes, so be sure to take advantage of those if you use them. Now, let's talk about specific things you can do for Mac OS. First, the easiest thing you can do is make sure you've already updated to Mac OS Mojave, because then you can simply turn on dark mode by 1, going to System Preferences, 2, click on General, and 3. Choose dark in the appearance options. And to make it a little more dark if you want, you can also change the accent color to graphite and voila! Slap on a dark wallpaper and you're one of us now. Do take note though that this feature only applies to system apps. You know, like Finder, Calendar, Mail, the App Store, Photos, iTunes. You get the picture. But wait, if you haven't or can't update to Mojave, there are other ways. You can either invert the colors or use the grayscale feature that you can find in System Preferences, Accessibility, then Display, and from there you can pick your options. If you want to see details more clearly under Dark Mode, then hit the Increase Contrast option too. Now this solution isn't as good as Mojave's Dark Mode, so if you're willing to use third-party software to achieve Dark Mode, you can download Dr. Dark or Night Owl from the web for a fuller dark experience on Mac OS. We'll provide the links in the description. Now if you aren't using Chrome on your Mac, let's talk about Safari. We already brushed on it earlier when I talked about the Dark Reader extension, but aside from that, there are others you can choose from, which you can find in darkmodelist.com. Now for us Windows users, it's actually quite simple. You can easily achieve dark mode in three simple steps. Just make sure you're updated to at least Windows version 1809 codename Redstone 5 or basically the October 2018 update. The first step is to open the settings menu from the start menu, then click on personalization and go to the colors tab. Now scroll down until you see an option to choose default app mode and select dark. You can also turn on high contrast to make it even darker. However, just like for Mac, this only applies to built-in Windows apps, so third-party apps with no dark mode option won't change at all. And if you're on Windows, aside from your web browser, you're probably using Microsoft Office a lot, too. And even they have a dark theme. Navigate to File, click Account, and then select Black from the Office theme menu. These settings will affect the menus in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and the others. Nonetheless, it's still not a complete dark mode. 
So if you're using a document or a spreadsheet, you'll have to manually change the white background to something darker and the text to white so you'll get the full experience. It's worth the effort, but yes, I hope they add native functionality in the future. And of course, when you're done doing all of this, be sure to change your desktop wallpaper to something dark to round out the experience. So that's it, my beautiful people. These are more ways to dark mode your life by not just stopping at your smartphones, but also dark moding your PC or Mac. Because you know what they say, once you go black, you know the rest. But in all seriousness, guys, dark mode is amazing. But sometimes you might get a little bit too relaxed, so you might want to think about turning it off from time to time, especially if you want to be productive. All right, so that's it for this video. Did you guys find this thing helpful? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yougetech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the dark side.